Gillian, thank you for having us down this morning. First of all, what can you tell us about Downright Special? Well, Downright Special is um, a charity that supports children with Down syndrome across Hull and the East Riding of Yorkshire. Um, we've been established since 2007 and a registered charity since 2009. Um, we're a parent-led organisation and we provide support to um, parents right through from birth through the children's school years. So what do you do here this morning here at the Bodmin Road Church? So here on a Friday we have what we call our downright special Friday groups, um, which is a big part of what we do. So uh, in the mornings we have children from birth up to about um, five years old who come to our um, early intervention sessions. So it's an opportunity for parents to get together and share experiences over a coffee, but then also the children go into small group sessions. They're grouped according to their developmental stage and we do some early intervention work. So we'll work on their speech and language, the literacy, their numeracy, all aspects of their learning, really. Um, the other thing that we do is that um, children who have gone to primary school, mainstream primary school, come here with their teaching assistants. So we take them out of school for a morning and the teaching assistants take part in that um, lesson time. And they learn about the specialist techniques that really help the children to learn in the best way that they can and help the teaching assistants differentiate the curriculum within the classroom and make sure those children are included. So you here as one of the charities of the year for Hull Kingston Rovers, what would you like to get out of that partnership from your point of view? Well, we're really, really pleased to be working with Hull KR. We think it's a really community focused um, club. Um, for us, a lot of it is um, about awareness raising. We really want to dispel some of the myths about Down syndrome, make everybody aware about what these children can achieve in life. Um, and just let people know about the charity. Um, obviously, any fundraising we can do out of it would be fabulous as well. Um, we've got a lot going on in the charity at the moment, so any help um, would be gratefully received from all your um, fans. One of those things that you mentioned going on, looking for new premises, you've got so big and so mm -hmm. successful, unfortunately you need to move. We do. Last year we reached the milestone of supporting our 100th family, which uh, when we started out in 2007, I would never believe we'd have got to that level. So the, the, the uh, downside of that is that we've outgrown the premises that we're currently in today. Bob Monroe Church has been a fantastic location for us up to now and they've been very accommodating, but really we're needing to find a home of our own where we can um, accommodate the increasing numbers of children who come to our Friday groups um, and we can plan for the future and the services we, we might want to provide as those children uh, grow into their teenage years. How satisfying has it been there to you think about the 100 family there, the number of people, children, parents, teachers, everybody who you supported? Um, it's really satisfying. Um, uh, most of us here are volunteers and we do it because we really believe in, in what we're doing and we can see that it makes a massive difference to the children's development and inclusion in schools. Um, but also um, it makes a big difference to the families. I know I personally Hey, you know, as a mum, I've also got a lot out of being part of the charity and being able to talk to other parents about any issues that we might face, share experiences and celebrate our children's achievements and milestones. Is there starting to be more support and more information available, do you think, these days for parents and, and children with Down syndrome? I think there certainly is. There's a number of groups like ours popping up around the country and a lot of what we do is around providing information um, to families and also to professionals, for example, you know, we've got a new parent pack that goes onto the wards at, um, at Hull Women and Children's Hospital, so when a child's born, um, the families get up-to-date information, the midwives have up-to-date information about what it means to have a child with Down syndrome. So yeah, I think things are getting better and there's a lot of knowledge about how best um, to uh, get them how to get the best out of children with Down syndrome these days. We've seen here this morning as well a physio from the local hospital down here so you're working with other partners as well? Yeah we've all, our ethos has always been to work in partnership with the services that are currently out there as they exist and work with them to improve things so for example today we've got someone from the hospital physiotherapy team here to have a look at our children in our setting answer queries from parents and refer them onwards if they think that's necessary. We also have um, someone from the Speech and Language Therapy Service comes in um, regularly to our groups as well and it's a really efficient way of both of our groups working, working together and making the most of the services that we've got. So you've mentioned a part of this partnership with the club that you'd like to raise awareness, hopefully raise some funds as well, but our fans out there who directly want to support you, how can they help? 
Well, they can have a look on our website. So we've got our website, downrightspecial.co.uk, where they can find out lots of information about what we do and the condition. We also have a fundraising page. So um, if people are interested, there's a button on there where they, they can donate or it can take them to the, our Virgin Money Giving page. And um, we also have a fundraising pack on there. So if anyone was thinking about doing an activity, to um, and you know, sponsorship money for us. Have a look on our fundraising pack. It's got lots of really nice ideas about what they might do, and there's a sponsor form on there as well. And if anybody wanted to talk to us about volunteering or helping or donating goods and services, then just give us a ring um, on four two zero one six zero, and someone will be happy to talk to them.